Hey, welcome back this morning. We're at the Gospel of Luke. We're verses 46 to 50. This is going to be, you know, part one or so of Mary's song. So let's go ahead and hear it. This is a little bit different genre. This is a song that's here. Let's see what she has. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Now there's more, but we'll just pause here. This is sort of a section here. Do you notice this message that's here? God's mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. We, you know, here we live in the 2020s as I'm, as I'm uh, filming this. The world is changing just so fast around us all the time. It just seems like, you know, whole generations are, are changing in just a few months. Uh, giant changes in our world of historic proportion. And yet, uh, it says here, from generation to generation, God's mercy is with those who fear him. Uh, Christianity is not really the, the big thing in our world today. Uh, and yet, it is the big thing in the universe. It is the big thing that God is doing. And so, his mercy, his mercy is on those who fear him. And we, so sure, we're in the minority. Sure, we are uh, downtrodden and disrespected. But our faith is an intelligent faith. We compare the events of history and Bible prophecy with the, with the things that are foretold in God's word, and we see, so we see them come through. Prophecy, fulfillment. Prophecy, fulfillment. Prophecy, fulfillment. So ours is not um, a faith of, of weird people. Uh, what we just want to do is be people who, who fear him, and who receive his help and mercy. You know, the Christian is somebody who says, I've lived around a little while. I've kind of figured out I am supremely in need of help outside of and beyond myself. And God says, that's about right. And I'm here to give you all the help, all the help you need. And so we are people who, who because God has given us a gift of humility, we see enough to know that we're people in need. We need more than, than we are. We don't have it in us to be the kind of people we want to be. God will send down gifts so that we can be the kind of people we want to be through the working of his Holy Spirit in our lives, through the, the transformation that happens from his word as, as we take his word in and, and cleanse our way by the word of God. So Mary's song, you know, God God has seen the lowly and he's, he's giving them gifts. God is mighty. He's done great things for me. It's a very personal song so far here. And, uh, you know, what, interesting to me to think that, you know, each one of us perhaps would have a song, a song of what God is doing for us and God has done and what God will do. I think that's true. Maybe we'll be singing it uh, down through the ages. We'll sing a song. For me, it, instead of Mary's song, maybe it will be Larry's song. How God, that God's blessings upon me. But, you know, you have a song, too. God has been working. He's given intervention in your life. He's given you gifts. And even though I'm sure you and I, have, we've all been through different challenges in our life, God delights to be with us and walk with us and walk us through the tough places. So, uh, you know what? Right now, God is working on you and working on me because someday we're going to have a song, a song of his deliverance of us. Praise his name. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Mary has a song. You have intervened in her life and given her the most amazing thing anybody could be given. Mary gets to be the mother of Jesus. Now, Lord, we just pray that you will intervene in our lives according to the riches of your mercy and your glory. Help us to be people who respect you, who fear you, who want to do your will. And Lord, please do fully, fully, 100%, fully intervene in our lives in the way that will bring you great glory. We trust you for that, and we ask you to do it in Jesus' name now. Amen. May God bless you today.